everybody, welcome back to Recordology. This is gonna be awesome. So, today we've got a very cool review of something unique, a little bit off the beaten path, not really vinyl related, but I do have um, a very keen interest in this product and I'm curious how it turns out. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I wanted to announce to you that our new 45 adapter, our exclusive color, this is called Ocean Wave and it is for sale Right now it is a beautiful sort of metallic blue. So you will be able to buy those as of the posting of this video. And maybe a little bit sooner we may put out a post, we'll have to see. But as of the filming of this, these are rolling off the presses, being printed and finished and ready for order again. These are the exclusive limited edition colors. They won't be around forever, so get yours. Also, I've debated whether or not to announce this or not, but I've decided I'm gonna do it. This is a prototype. I do not own the design to this. This is actually a, um, uh, somebody else designed this. this. You'll notice this is somewhat bigger than this adapter and it's in the blue color because I just happen to have this filament loaded up. But this is a Seberg adapter and we are working on a Seberg Recordology adapter for sale. Maybe a couple different designs. Haven't finalized that yet. So it won't look like this, but it'll be this size to allow you to play those Seberg records. When the time comes, we're gonna do a show on that, but I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek. But today's show is actually about a sleep machine. It's this thing right here. And you may be saying to yourself, what does that have to do with vinyl? It doesn't. And this channel can do, kind of do whatever we want it to, right? So sometimes I just like to review cool stuff. And to me, this is cool. Hopefully you will think so as well. You may know that I enjoy ambient sounds. I record them, I listen to them. I like to fall asleep sometimes to ambient sounds, to movie sounds and whatnot. This device is a, a sleep machine that generates like white noise type of sounds, but not just white noise. It actually generates, generates nature sounds, campfire sounds, stuff like that. And I used something similar to this today, but I wanted to check this out. What intrigues me about this is you'll notice that it doesn't have like a screen. It's not menu driven for once. It's actually, it actually has sliders and physical buttons. So an intriguing thing and I thought we would take a look at it. That's a long intro. Anyway, you're not gonna wanna miss this. In terms of record player reviews, we actually have more coming your way very soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so here it is, white noise, sleep machine, sleep until dawn, eight kinds of natural ecological environment sounds promote healthy sleep, sl soothe emotions, sounds of nature sleep with you. This part I can't, I, I don't understand. Third gear timing function, reasonable sleep, and then down here we've got uh, main talking points, white noise, healthy sleep aid for the whole family. So everybody gets to sleep. Technical parameters, white noise function, eight different sounds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. High quality audio output. I'm curious if this thing actually does have like an, an, an aux out. That would be interesting. If it does, we might do a direct feed. Timing functions, product is left channel and right channel output. Again, I don't know what that means, but I'm hoping it means that there is an aux out. I'm not 100% sure. Type C driver made in China. 85 decibels of white noise power. And let's see, there's, some, oh yeah. And then we've got all these icons for different functions. Each one says, push the volume slider up to the maximum sound and push the volume slider down to turn off the sound of rain. Push the volume slider up to the maximum sound and push the volume slider down to turn off the sound of waves. So it does that for every single one, which is odd. Although there are slight differences from one to the other. And this one uh, for the beep sound, and that's not the icon I would have chosen for beep. So <laughs> it's just, it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Third gear timing functionable or third gear timing function, reasonable sleep. All right, let's get into this thing. As Dean Martin used to say, I'm just trying to have a little fun, folks. Okay, so interesting. Thought we'd have a styrofoam packing, but we've got a clamshell 
plastic, nothing else in the box. Here we've got the manual right there. And in here, we have the device itself, a uh, micro, it's a USB-C, okay. And the brick for said USB-C. And then the product is just wrapped in plastic. So it's actually just a bag, so that makes it easy. And here it is. So yeah, physical buttons, I think that's good. I mean, I think we have so many things in our life with freaking screens. It's just, it's getting annoying. It's getting a little annoying how many things have screens. In some cases, things that don't need to have screens. And this is a good example because in the middle of the night, you know, you're half asleep. The idea of being able to reach over and fumble around for something, like let's say, oh yeah, I like the campfire sound. I know that's the third one over. You can do that in the dark, and I think that that's a good thing. So, yeah, we've got what looks to be like a simulated grain, but it's plastic, obviously. If I turn it this way, I don't know if I can capture this, but there's ridges, like there's texture. It's not just smooth on the, on the edge. It's kind of a nice, interesting, grippy texture. I like. Well, it's a smooth plastic, but the way that it's molded makes it makes it kind of tactile and nice. Uh, nothing on the side. The back, we've got the headphone out. Okay, so that's that's the output. It does have a headphone jack. So yeah, we'll do some direct feed sound tests. And you know what else I want to do? I want to open this up because I want to see if it's just playing off an SD card or if it's based on an IC or something like that. We'll see exactly how it works. Uh, five volt power supply. On the bottom, we've got four pads. And yeah, that's about it. So up top here again, the sliders. Everything's plastic. Pretty lightweight sliders. There is a bit of drag. Not a heck of a whole lot. The buttons themselves, yeah, they feel pretty good. They got a good click. Let's go ahead and power it on. I assume I press and hold. And I also assume that there's some charge in here. Maybe there's no charge in here. It might, it might be dead as a doornail. So maybe this thing was on the shelf for quite a while. Yeah, this thing is dead on arrival. At least the battery isn't charged or isn't uh, giving us anything. So. I'm gonna go ahead and try to plug it in. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Some devices, I think most devices let you use the device while it's plugged in. That's another thing too. I think for a sleep machine, I would have rather this just been AC powered versus rechargeable battery. I guess you could take it with you, have it be portable, but I don't know, For that's just me. That's kind of how I feel about it. But let's see if we can turn it on now. Um, pressing and holding. There we go. Okay. So let's turn the volume down for a second. We'll start by evaluating it with a built in speaker right there, and we'll go from there. So I've got everything down. So I'm surprised there's any sound whatsoever. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I need to look at the manual. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing, which is par for the course. By the way, do not hit the item seriously. Okay, it took me a hot minute, but I did figure it out. So this button here, you press and hold it, and it turns on like a legit white noise, and then you can toggle through different white noises. That's, that's none of these. It's like separate white noise presets. But if you press and hold it, Hold on. If you press and hold it, there, it shuts off. Now you can control it with the slider. So this is the coffee shop one. And actually, let me turn the uh, vocal mic off. I'm gonna turn on the front-facing stereo mic so you can hear kind of better what it sounds like in the room. And again, we'll do a direct feed, but let's start off by just giving it a listen. Okay, so here's this one. like a coffee shop atmosphere. This is the one they call beep. Sounds more like low resolution crickets and some wind. Campfire. Okay, I've got a funny story for you guys. So <laughs> our other sound machine that we have 
I have not reviewed it. it. We've had it now for, gosh, probably six, seven years. And we just kind of let it roll playing, um, you know, 24-7 playing waves quietly. It's a very nice kind of ambient. Anyway, it has a campfire setting as well, which my son says sounds like poop coming out. <laughs> so... Anyway, I'm not no comment on that, but I did think about that. Rainstorm. I'll turn the volume up a little bit. It's supposed to be thunderstorm. And wind. Oh, waves. Okay. Birds. I fall asleep to the sound of angry cows. That <laughs> just wouldn't be my first pick. Okay, so that's there's your uh, uh, sneak preview of the sounds. And then you do have a uh, toggle switch here for a sleep timer, which is cool. That's a cool feature. One thing I did notice right out of the gate, though, with these sounds is the lowest volume setting. Um, is already kind of loud. Eh, that's better actually. When I was listening to the white noise, the, the lowest volume setting seemed kind of too loud already. And of course you have the actual slider so you can make it quiet, so that's good. Okay, good, so never mind. That, that actually is okay on these specifically. Now, if you're listening to white noise, however, that's the lowest setting. And I know that's probably hard to tell on camera, but that's a little bit too loud. Okay, next thing we'll do is direct feed sound test. Okay, so this is the direct feed sound test. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. We're gonna just go through all the sliders. It's definitely a low resolution though, so something to keep in mind. For the purposes of this and this little speaker, probably not a huge concern though. I do like this device. It is quirky and um, you can see the texture maybe a little better on these pieces back here if I hold it like that. Um, it, is, it is quirky, but it's functional and it's very interesting, it's unique. Let's go ahead and see if we can open this up, see how this thing works. I'm assuming there's screws hiding behind these rubber feet here. Okay, I was trying to scrape it off and then I realized that it's just gonna be easier to stab through it. And I get a good contact on a Phillips head screw. So I'm just gonna take one for the team here and let's get all these screws removed. Okay, it took a little, a little doing, but I think I've got it open now. So there's our speaker. Interesting. Is there one in the front? Oh, so I wonder which ones of these are actual speakers versus like passive reflex. Interesting. That one's got like a met, what looks like a metal diaphragm. There's a little circuit board there. You can see the uh, jack for the uh, output, a couple ribbon cables, and obviously the charging port. And if we look around here, you just see the speaker enclosure. That's actually fairly hefty. Here's the uh, brains of the outfit. Let's zoom in a little bit. So based off of this, that's a pretty clean design actually. I'm gonna say that the sound is probably built in to an IC. So it's, it's, it's nice to see proper wiring and not just a bunch of hot glue. But um, yeah, there is a look on the inside there. We've got all the 
various components. Even the uh, cables are insulated with this foam to help with the vibrations. And you can see the screw terminals, the inverse of the uh, where we were inserting, inserting our screwdriver. A little foam on the back of the speaker grill right there. Not a whole lot to see on this side of the board. The other side is going to be where the buttons are. I'm not going to remove the board any further than this. So if there was an SD card slot or anything interesting like that, it would probably be on this side, which there's not. So we're going to call that good. And uh, I always like seeing the insides of stuff, you know, how things work, what makes them tick. Seems like the construction quality is good. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Another thing you can do because you've got sort of this uh, mixer of ambient sounds is you can combine things. So let's say you wanted a coffee shop with cows and a thunderstorm. You could do that. Or maybe you want rain with a fire and birds. You could do that as well. Or perhaps you want to hear what swimming cows would sound like. With chickens, apparently. Or perhaps you want to know what a coffee shop would sound like with birds. Anyway. You can combine it, slice it, and dice it any way you want. Geez, how much can this guy talk about a sleep machine? That's it, guys. I can't think of anything else to test or check out or, you know, battery life and how it functions in the real world. Time will tell. Based on this initial look, I think I would recommend this. I think it's cool. The price point is going to determine everything. So take a look at the link in the description. And if you think it's a good value, I would say, yeah, go for it. If not, you could probably get an app that would do the same thing this does. But, you know, if you're like me, you may want to break from the phone. I've been really, really, really trying to divest myself of phone time lately. So if that's you, if you like physical devices, especially ones with physical buttons and sliders and maybe a break from screens, this could be right up your alley. All right, my friends, and that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Consider a thumbs up if you like this show, and I'll go ahead and put a link to this down below, but mostly just thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, you are what makes this channel successful, and I'm very, very thankful for you. Again, don't forget, these are now on sale if you're interested. But anyway, my friends, that's gonna do it for today. So happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.